Wait, what the? Uh-oh. What? No freaking way! Roman's old rival? Alistair Dome! Oh my god! Black Mass! And he's not done! Malachi says, remember me! Black Mass! What the hell? I see in my head, unlocking the future and letting it go. Yeah, greatness. Yeah, it feels like greatness. Legendary in the making. Reach out and we take it. Not to emerge, we on the verge, and it feels like greatness. As we are live in the shadows of New York City, here at East with a friend, New Jersey, welcome live on a special Thursday, Raw Thursday! And what a way to kick it off with the brand new WWE Women's Champion, Zoe Stark! Zoe Stark was able to realize the dream last week on Monday Night Raw in the main event went up against one of the most decorated champions in Universe Mode in Bianca Belair and was able to get the upset win in my eyes able to get a big win of her career to win the gold. She shoots for the stars and she's able to reach to the mountaintop able, able to reach the pinnacle of WWE by winning the women's title last week on Raw. And now she got her eyes set for War Games. Kick off the show hot with the new champion. Even giving props to the former champion, Bel Air. Giving Bianca Belair her flowers as far as being a defending and fighting champion. But in the middle of Bianca's title reign, Zoe Stark was able to rise up the rankings. Able to get to this moment. Zoe Stark feels that she... She deserves a rematch in, in, in Bianca Belair. But it's going to have to wait till after Survivor Series because right now Zoe Stark wants to know who's her op for War Games. What the hell? Trish Stratus! No way, Trish Stratus. It can't be the Hall of Famer, right? I mean, out of everybody that will come. Out right now, I mean, right as Zoe Stark said, I want to know my opposition for War Games. Here comes the Hall of Famer, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus is still butthurt, if you will, after losing to Zoe Stark on Raw a couple of weeks ago. Claiming that her revenge will be sweet now that Zoe is the champion. What? Trish Stratus will be the opposition at War Games against Zoe Stark? That is a new definition of petty, if you ask me. To let a loss get to you that bad to where Trish Stratus now got to find three other superstars to team up with her, like Zoe Stark does, in this four-on-four -four War Games bout. 
Stark letting it be known that it's her time now as champion. But there's something in it for Trish in War Games. She claims that the reason why she's in the match is because if she wins, she'll get an eight, she'll get a championship match against Zoe Stark. Planning on becoming an eight-time champion. That's why Stratus is in the match. Just so she can get an opportunity at the women's title. Well, wait a minute, Zoe Stark. Getting in the face of Trish. Claims that she beat her once. She'll defend her title at any point in a war game. Zoe Stark plans on defeating Trish Stratus once again. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Less than two weeks from tonight for war games. And there's Trick Williams backstage in the Hurt Business locker room. Obviously hype about Carmelo's matchup later on tonight against JD McDonough. And there's the undefeated Intercontinental Champion. A man who claims to be him. Wants to talk with Bret Hart after his matchup tonight regarding his Intercontinental title at Survivor Series. And obviously Chuck Williams is going to back up his boy, if you will, because, you know, Chuck Williams is more of a hype man towards Carmelo Hayes. Both men seem to be locked in for that one-on-one -on -one match between Melo and JD later on tonight. But let's take you back to last week. Malachi Black made it a return that we never saw coming. Knocked out Roman Reigns cold in the middle of the ring. Black mass and one wasn't enough. Even ask Roman, do you remember me? These two used to fight. They used to fight over the U.S. title back in 2K19. The wise man Paul Heyman backstage with Roman Reigns. Paul Heyman seems to be concerned about Roman's well-being. Knowing that Malachi Black is a different beast, if you will, says Heyman. Roman feels that Heyman doubts him. Roman Reigns going over the history between himself and Malachi Black back in 2K19. In a TLC, in a TLC pay-per-view back in the day, Alistair, or Alistair Black at the time defeated Reigns for the U.S. title. Superplexed him through two tables. Heyman even asking if he could phone a friend. But obviously Roman Reigns wants to do this alone. Planning on ending Malachi Black once and for all at Survivor Series. It's going to be an interesting situation when we find out what happens less than two weeks at Survivor Series for War Games. Malachi Black, Roman Reigns one on one. It's going to be a spectacle to say the least at Survivor Series. Strong words by both Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae as coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for some women's action. Alexa Bliss meets Candice LeRae one-on-one. -on -one. It's scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. As Miss Money in the Bank making her way down the aisle, she's been on the roll as of the last couple of weeks, ever since losing to Zoe Stark on Raw a few weeks ago. Alexa Bliss got a win over Indy Hartwell last week, and let's see how she fares tonight against Candice LeRae. Not to mention Candice LeRae coming off a win, a tag team victory on SmackDown this past week. Let's see how she fares tonight in a one-on-one -on -one capacity. Candice LeRae focused, ready to go. Indy Hartwell from Riverside, California. 
Candice LeRae. Let's take it back to Raw last week where Alexa Bliss, after getting the win over Indy Hartwell, Candice LeRae confronted her face to face, claiming that if you have a problem, you know where to find me. And Candice LeRae said, Well, I'll see you next week, which means tonight. It's all about the spirit of competition. That's what's in the air as of late. Competition. Superstars wanted to elevate themselves to get to a championship position. In order for that, they gotta beat each other up in order to do so. And here we go. Right out the gate. Trying to go for a close line. Got blocked by Lorray. Sent her over the top. Hanging on. Now they're gonna knock her off the apron perhaps. But Bliss able to fight back with a shot to the face. A lot of great action for you tonight. Here on this one hour special of, of Raw. So we start got it wrong earlier tonight, saying it's Monday Night Raw. Nope, today is Thursday. Raw Thursday is Alexa Bliss with a sit out head mat slam. And now they're trying to go for, I thought, a DDT, but got into a guillotine instead. Miss Money in the Bank in control, but LeRae able to fight out the hold. The last thing you want is your opposition to have the advantage over you as a Lorraine. Oh! Lorraine with that side rush and able to take her down. Ooh, but a kick. Kick caught her right in the face there. And now, Snapmare takedown and a kick to the face. And now Candace on the outside, but Alexa looking to follow suit. Kick to the gut there, but now Lorraine got her. Oh no. Suplex on the floor! Holy, but look at Candice LeRae got caught. Oh, and slams her down as well. Count of four by the referee. And now LeRae, oh, got right back up, took it out with a lariat. And you notice she tried to go for a springboard, but Alexa had her scouted. Alexa able to block, and now Alexa Bliss attacking that right arm. No doubt Alexa Bliss has her eyes on the women's title picture. Remember, remember, remember she is Miss Money in the Bank. Meaning she could go after new champion Rhea Ripley. The new champion Zoe Stark. Either way, Alexa Bliss has her eyes peeled on the title. But look at that. Had her got countered there. Did Alexa on the Candice LeRae thrust kick able to take her down. But look at the looks of an Insiguri. Oh, back and forth training shots. Sets her off the ropes. Ducks it. Over. Loray got her. Hip toss. Up, over, hip toss. Hooking the leg. Shoulders it down to knock off Bliss's momentum. Unable to do so. The and then Loray. Thinking Tope Suicida, but Alexa Bliss able to evade. And now Bliss got her onto the barricade. And now they're going to Irish whip Lorraine into the barricade. Back first onto the barricade. And now Miss Money in the Bank. Let's oh, Miss Five Feet of Fury. They're going to take it towards oh, Candace Lorraine. The the pixie princess, if you will. Count of five as she knocked Bliss on the uh, the barricade. And now Lorray back in the ring, taunting the crowd as Bliss got back in the ring. No doubt paid for that one, did Lorray. And now Alexa Bliss has something in mind, but no blocked. And again, drop kick after drop kick. And now Alexa Bliss feels, oh no! Where I was all about to say that Bliss feels that she's in control, Lorraine able to turn the tide! You gotta know what's going through the minds of the WWE superstars when in a match like this. Nothing is on the line but other than pride and maybe impressing the general manager of Raw, Bret Hart, maybe trying to elevate their careers, elevate their their status trying to peak interest into the WWE Universe's eyes. Oh, what a backbreaker there by Bliss. 
That's what these matches are made of. That's what, the, that's what these matches are all about. To peak interest to the WWE Universe, to gain an audience, to gain fans, but to also gain momentum to eventually become a champion. That's what these two, they're known for that. They've been there before. They've been to the mountaintop. That's going away with the rights, bringing it to Bliss. Slamming your skull onto the turnbuckle pad. Candice LeRae back in 2K20. One on to win the SmackDown Women's title twice in her career. Alexa Bliss in Season 7. Very late going into Season 8 of Universe Mode. Was the SmackDown Women's Champion. Both women know what it's like to hold on the gold. Bulldog planted there by LeRae and a kick to the spine as well. Double leg takedown. Got the legs tied up, thinking, oh, I thought she was going to go for a Scorpion Deathlock, but instead, Wicked Stepsister! God almighty! Crushing her skull onto the canvas isn't enough to get a victory! And Bliss able to power out saying otherwise. You hear Bliss in agony, in pain, as Candice Ray trying to capitalize. Gargano escape locked in. In the center of the ring, Bliss is in deep trouble. But look at Bliss, finds an opening, and Bliss able to get up the hold. What a match between these two, and a close line by Bliss. Larray on the outside, trying to play defense. Bliss playing offense, cross body from the top. Cross body onto the outside, and now Bliss. Got LeRae here. Oh. Stomp at the stomp as you see Indy Hartwell can't do a damn thing. Gotta watch on. Don't want, does not want to risk Candice LeRae getting disqualified. As Alexa Bliss sending LeRae back in the ring. No time, maybe creating separation, creating a chance for breathing, for a breather, but no. Close up. And another. And again. The close lines and then the kick. Is that enough to derail Candice LeRae here? No! What does Alexa or Candice gotta do to put each other away here? Indy Hartwell trying to pay dividends, distracting Miss Money in the Bank. As LeRae sets five feet of fear in the corner, no! Able to counter, and then a drop kick to the spine! Alexa Bliss, oh! Wicked right takes down LeRae. And now Alexa going up top. Hiring District. Bliss! Twisted Bliss connects! Twisted Bliss! And Alexa Bliss with a win! Wow! What a match! Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss! Alexa Bliss able to stand up and fight back. And it's, in the end, Twisted Bliss lands her the victory. What a win, what a night, what a match so far, what a night so far. I'm getting my whole thing mixed up. There's a shot team, Gigi Dolan backstage. Gigi saying thanks for uh, Shotzi's assist after Trish tried to attack Gigi Dolan with the chair last week. Shotzi just doing the right thing. Claiming that Trish is willing to go that far with Gigi. Who knows what she'll do next. And Shotzi saying, hey, if you want to repay me, come with me to the ring. Yeah. Well, we're going to see Shotzi in action with Trish Stratus later on here on Monday Night Raw. But ladies and gentlemen, our main event, Becky Lynch will meet Tiffany Stratton. Stratton asks for this challenge. The man they're gonna come around and accept the challenge here tonight live in our main event. Also, the WWE Champions in the house as Seth Rollins will go one-on-one -on -one with Gunther's crony, if you will. A member of Imperium, Giovanni Vinci, takes on Seth freaking Rollins later on tonight. Also, the Intercontinental Champions in the house as Carmelo Hayes will meet JD McDonough one-on-one. -on -one. Again, Carmelo Hayes looking to 
plan something big for SummerSlam, but he's got to get through JD McDonough here tonight. Also, tag team action, DIY will take on Alpha Academy in a tornado tag team match as DIY is trying to climb the rankings in the tag team division to eventually get a tag team title shot. But coming up next, Shotzi Blackheart going one on one with Gigi Dolan in her corner against the, the woman who will meet Zoe Stark at War Games, the WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. All plus more tonight on Raw. One cage, two rings. The next premium live event presents WWE 2K23's Survivor Series will enter. War Games! We're back live on Thursday, Raw Thursday, in East Rutherford, New Jersey, in the shadows of New York City. As tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Shanti Blackheart, who was able to make the assist last week, one-on-one -on -one with the Hall of Famer. We saw her earlier and tonight. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish we saw her earlier tonight, and it is official. War Games. Trish Stratus will take on Zoe Stark. Trish got to find three members. Zoe Stark got to find three members. Four on four action. Two rings, one cage. All goes down in Chicago, Illinois for Survivor Series. But tonight, Trish Stratus. We're going to handle some business starting from last week. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Battle swung. Here we go. Another women's match. Here we go. Give you, this is the second out of the third uh, women's match of the night. As Shotzi throwing hands towards Trish. But now Trish firing back. Then on Stratus. We're going to take care of Shotzi real quick. Give it a slammer skull right onto the canvas there. As Gigi watching on our ringside. As a uh, big kick right to the chest of Shotzi. As uh, Trish Stratus taking it towards Shotzi again. Trish is so petty to where she took an L from Zoe Stark on Raw weeks ago. And now that Zoe Stark is the champion, that's pressed by Trish here. Now that Stark is the champion, it gives more motivation for Trish to get payback, but to also gain an opportunity at the women's title that she's been seeking for so long. The fireman's carry and then slamming Trish's face onto her knee to Shotzi and attacks the arm as well. Shotzi Blackheart, a, a tremendous competitor, I would say. Full of heart, full of passion. Not one of them to say die. Hook, hook of the leg. Kick at a two. All over the place tonight. Holy. We're alive, but it's done. <laughs> As Trish Stratus and Shotzi trading blows to the gut. And now Stratus sending off the ropes. And oh, missed the kick wildly there. As Shotzi, well scouted. Side rush and light sweep. And look at this submission hole. Folding up. Trish Stratus looking at an accordion here. Got her wrapped up like she's a bone constructor, but no. Stratus able to get out the hole. Big kick to the gut. What's Trish thinking here? Sent her up the ropes. Just letting Shotzi run the ropes there. Had something in mind, I guess, but didn't work out. And now Shotzi able to take advantage. Maybe it was bad timing for Trish. Able to block. Either way, this match rolls on. Kick to the midsection there. Shot to the face. Got it from behind. German suplex release by Shotzi. Uh-oh. Shotzi up top. What does Shotzi have in mind here? Elbow to the spine of Trish. And, ooh. Shotzi feels that he's in control. As Gigi brings in the chair, which I... I mean, I guess you want to get payback for what happened last week, but I don't know. Maybe Shotzi would want to win. 
I'm sure Shakti would love to get a decisive win over the Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. I mean, look what a difference. So we start. Oh, drop kick there by Trish. And oh, oh, able to block. And now Trish the, able to counter into a neck breaker. Trish is being more crafty, I would say. And a chick kick. Chick kick right in front of Gigi. Hook of the leg. And we got the ropes, but the referee didn't see it. Here is your winner, Trish. She grabbed the bottom rope to Shotzi, but she did it, I think, too late. By the time the referee hit three, she grabbed the bottom rope in between two and three, but too late. So there's Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano of DIY. Letting it be known that they are back, they're reunited, and they have one goal. Tonight they plan on getting through Otis and Gable to then going on to become eventually WWE Tag Team Champions. Ooh. Chompa letting it be known that it doesn't have to be Tag Team Gold as well. They can be single champions as well. Which is true. Both superstars have held singles titles before. Chompa calling out everybody. The OC, Seth Rollins, Carmelo Hayes, doesn't matter. And Gargano follows suit, saying one by one. And they plan on doing it them themselves. DIY. Do it yourself is the motto for those two superstars. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Trick Williams from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Carmelo. As here comes the Intercontinental Champion, Carmelo Hayes. In action, one on one against JD McDonough. You see him representing the Hurt Business t shirt again. Carmelo Hayes and Trip Williams, both a part of the Hurt Business, brought in by MVP a while back ago. It all started back at WrestleMania weekend, where MVP and Carmelo Hayes wanted to talk some business. Which led for all of this to happen. Ever since coming to Raw, Carmelo Hayes has been untouchable. He's had open challenges, whether on premium live events or on Raw, and he's yet to lose a match. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. But then again, tonight, he takes on the Irish Ace, a former two-time United States Champion and a former Cruiserweight Champion in J.D. McDonough. He never bet it. He never bet against an Ace. And tonight, J.D. McDonough could be the guy to change the trajectory of Carmelo Hayes' career. He could be the guy to beat him in a normal one-on-one -on -one match with nothing on the line. For all I know, in my opinion, if JD wins this match, he deserves a title shot. That's just my opinion. He's the one that ended the undefeated streak, so why not get a title shot out of it? But that's if he gets through Carmelo Hayes here tonight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, one-on-one, -on -one, Hayes. And JD in action. Some are questioning why is Carmelo Hayes in a normal matchup? Well, the Intercontinental title is all about being the workhorse championship, meaning you gotta wrestle anyone, everyone, at any time. And JD McDonough thinking of a springboard maneuver, but Hayes able to evade. And now it seems to hit JD able to recover. Got him for uh, Alabama slam! God almighty! The whiplash on that, but look at Hayes able to kip up with a uh, a recovery head scissors and now Hayes in control as Carmelo Hayes Oof. shot up the shot on the JD 
JD on the outside, a bit dazed. Trying to regroup as Hayes up top with a crossbody. But look at JD able to turn it around. JD able to counter. Oh, to a scout slam. Basic but effective. My God. Oof. Elbow to the face. Nice roll through by Hayes. And caught him with a hip toss. Wow. Carmelo Hayes is an, is an extraordinary athlete to say the least. And then, oh! Tilt to Ron, got him into a future arm bar on the floor. I mean, even if JD taps out, wouldn't matter. Got to do it inside the ring for it to be sanctioned. Trying to go for a drop kick. Able to stop himself did Hayes. And now Hayes sending JD onto the barricade. Kind of eight by the referee. And a count of nine. JD still on the barricade. And Hayes, Hayes going to take the count out win. I mean, here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. I mean, I can't really fault him for that one. I mean, it's a count out win. A win to win in Hayes' mind. But I'm sure the story is over. Is not over between those two men. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, DIY versus Alpha Academy. Tornado Tag Team Match, live, next. In December of 2023, the next premium live event after Survivor Series, where Raw and SmackDown superstars will go through the ringer. It is the illustrious and dangerous Elimination Chamber, live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You don't want to miss the Elimination Chamber premium live event. As we're back live for Thursday, Raw Thursday. As here comes Shuddy Gargano with Tommaso Ciampa. Get it ready for some tag team action the on Raw. The is a tornado tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa and Shuddy Gargano D. The motto is do it yourself between Gargano and Ciampa. They started their careers together here in WWE. Able to take advantage of one opportunity to become well-established stars. And now tonight in this tag team bout against former champions in Alpha Academy DIY. They're going to get a big win here tonight on Raw. But it's a big task for DIY to do. It's a big task for DIY to get past here tonight. As here comes Master Gable and his number one guy. At a combined weight of 532 pounds, Otis and Chad Gable, the Alpha Academy. We heard from Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano earlier tonight claiming that it doesn't matter if it's a singles title or tag team titles. DIY plans to go after everybody. Well, let's see how things fare for them tonight in this Tornado Tag Team match. Note that I'm sure SmackDown Tag Teams are watching. Probably watching this match. Would love to maybe knock either DIY or Alpha Academy off their perch. DIY's been on the roll as of late. But Alpha Academy looking to be the one on the rise here tonight. On Raw Thursday, Raw Thursday. Here we go, no tags in this match, but there are disqualifications. There are no count outs in this new form of tag team matches. Gone are the days of normal tags. All about letting all of the competitors in the ring at the same time as Chad Gable with a dragon whip on the Champa. Gargano with a forearm on the gable. And now both DIY members are gonna go after the human tree trunk in Otis. As Ciampa picking apart the left leg. And Gable takes care of Gargano. And Ciampa went for a cover, but Gable right there to make the save. Still to come on our main event, Becky Lynch, Tiffany Stratton. And also Rollins in action as Gargano on the cover. Gable having a kick at two. But, oh my god, Otis with an Enziguri. 
Gable's been teaching Otis a lot of tricks as of late. Well dog by Otis and Gable gets planted. Also later on, the WWE Champion Seth Rollins is in the house. As you be up to gang Giovanni Vinci. Gargano with the long dart in the corner. Could it be? Will it be for the win? And Gable got the shoulder up. Oh, look at Gable. Got up inside Cradle. Oh. Able to turn it around to Gable, but sadly Gargano, for Gable at least, able to kick out. Well, Ciampa, oh, Otis, got him, mighty. Otis is picking apart, just picking up and tossing Ciampa across ringside. That's what this new era of tag team match is all about. I mean, every time to attack the normal tag team matches where the superstars just brawl it out. Despite that there's rules, but look at get Gargano able to go right to Otis, but sadly meets a clothesline for his troubles. And now Chopper going after Gable. And now Gable with a monkey flip out of the corner. Going for the cover. Shoulders it down. Could it be? Will it be up the monkey flip? And Chopper again survived. Look at Chopper. Got him with it. It's a cradle! Got him! No! Had him for a pinning predicament, but Gable did a kick. And speaking of a kick, Gable suffered a kick by the feet of Chapa. Look at Otis at ringside. All over Gargano, no doubt. Strength and size coming into play for Otis. As Chapa going up top. Not really known as a high flyer. Drives the knee right across the chest of Gable. Probably thinking fairy tale ending, but no. And that was Gargano and Otis in the ring. Remember, they gotta get a pinfall or submission in the ring. In order to get the win. Otis with the world's strongest slam on the Gargano. You saw Ciampa trying to make the save, but Gable kept him at bay. But Gargano able to kick out. The crowd seems to dig it. Here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, in this tag team match. Look at Otis running. Splash with Gargano got the way. And now Gargano takes him down. Gargano looking to meet in the middle. Looking to meet in the middle here with the super kick. That might be it to lay out Otis. Hook of the leg. Gable in the ring, but Otis got the shoulder up at two. And Gargano able to turn his attention to Gable with that drop kick. As Otis on the outside, a bit dazed. Look at Ciampa. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Project Ciampa. The power bomb lung blower on the cable. And now, Snapman takedown. Gargano has something in mind. Realizing. Oh, wait. Oh! Caught him on the neck breaker. Gargano had a feeling that Otis was going to go in 10 to Gable. That's why he paused momentarily moments ago. And look at Gable! Oh, what a German suplex! Turning Gargano inside out! And a fisherman suplex on the Ciampa! Gable's a freak of nature in that ring! And so is Otis! But DIY's all about grit! All about determination! That never say die attitude! Realizing that if they want to achieve the success that they want, they got to do it themselves. Chapa, wait a minute. Fairy tale ending on the Otis. Oh, but Gable's right there. He saw it happen, and he took him out. Chapa stomping out Otis. Look at Chapa. Drop kick to Otis. 
Gable on the outside to get back in the ring after I think he was dazed. Roll out the ring out of to get out of harm's way. Vertical suplex. And now they get Chapel with a guillotine, but Gable with the suplexes. The three vertical suplexes and a Kipper for good measure. Oh, this is indeed trouble here. As Gable made the save. Oh. Non-stop action in his tag team bout. Again, still to come, Seth Rollins, the WWE Champion in action. Also, Becky and Tiffany in the main event. Otis in the cover. Chaos Theory on the Gargano. Chaos Theory on the Gargano is Chapa. Able to kick out a two, but now it seems to Alpha Academy might have to win here. And a Gargano with a leg sweep. Able to find an opening. Takes care of Otis. And now after Gable. That kicked inside of the head as Chaplin in a 10 to Otis. Gable in trouble. Gargano escaped. And there's no escape for Gable. Got a tap out. DIY with a massive win tonight. Here are your winners. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa D. They got the victory tonight after a grueling Tornado Tag Team match here tonight on Raw. Ciampa and Gargano able to get the win here tonight. No doubt the tag titles could be in their future. There's the man, Becky Lynch, responded to Tiffany Stratton's challenge last week. Saying, be careful what you wish for because tonight you're going to get it. It's, wait a minute. There's the WWE Women's Champion, Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark looking to try to recruit Becky Lynch for war games. Becky Lynch said, I'll get back to you next week. Looking to focus on her match later on tonight. Zoe Stark actually being considerate here, saying, hey, if you need a week to think about it, wishing Becky good luck. No doubt Zoe Stark got her eyes set on Becky Lynch versus Tiffany Stratton later on tonight. But coming up right now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the WWE Champion. As the man who will face the ring general, the king of the ring at Survivor Series. As here comes Seth Frickin' Rollins. Seth Rollins, no doubt about it, has his eyes set on Gunther, especially what happened last week, where Gunther not only got in the face of Seth Rollins, but also Gunther claiming that if Seth Rollins loses at Survivor Series at Gunther's first main event in a premium live event, there's a lot of pressure onto a seven-time champion like Seth Rollins. But Rollins are gonna prove why he is the man, why he is a seven-time WWE Champion. As Seth frickin' Rollins in action against Giovanni Vinci. Oh wait. Seth Rollins is gonna air out what he has to say. Claiming that Gunther wants to make things personal. After Gunther went up against Nathan Fraser, a man who Seth Rollins trained. Rollins believes that Nathan Fraser pushed Gunther to his limits last week in their matchup. And now Rollins wants to see if, wait a minute, Giovanni Vinci, that's his opponent tonight. Rollins wants to see if Giovanni Vinci can be the one to push him to his limits here tonight. And remember, it's Giovanni Vinci, no Ludwig Kaiser, no Gunther here tonight. It's a sole one-on-one -on -one bout. 
Oh, wait a minute. Giovanni Vinci got something to say. Claiming that next week, Luffy Kaiser will get his crack against Seth Rollins. But tonight, it's about Giovanni Vinci. Claiming that each week, Rollins will be broken down until Survivor Series or Gunther potentially could win the title. Rollins claiming that Vinci's not all up there in the brain. Plans on defeating all three members of Imperium, starting with Vinci. Rollins is fired up, saying, bring, bring that ass to the ring. And Vinci, they're going to follow suit. Rollins and Vinci coming up shortly. Just need a referee to get down here. Rollins, Vinci, one-on-one. -on -one. Here tonight on Thursday, Raw Thursday. Wait a minute. Backstage is just Stratus once again. Just Stratus with Tiffany Stratton. Both women are so full of themselves, but hey, it is what it is. Trish Stratus considering Tiffany Stratton to be a part of War Games on her team. And Stratton accepts. Stratton are going to be a part of Stratus's team. Wants Trish to watch her match with Becky later on tonight. Holy. A lot of recruitment going on between Zoe Stark and, and Trish Stratus, which is fair because War Games is coming up. Bellas were gonna be go Rollins went out the gate with a drop kick on the Vinci. As the crowd serenades the WWE champion. Kick to the gut and out. Oh! The hip toss into a neckbreaker combination by Vinci and now attacking that left arm. Just pounding away. Does Vinci under the face of the WWE Champion. And now Rollins here. Got Vinci. They're going to set him over the top to the outside. As we saw one champion in action earlier tonight. Where Carmelo Hayes got a win over J.D. McDonough via countout. I'm sure it's not done between those two. As oh, Vinci with a Monolite suplex. Onto the champion on the outside. And now Vinci again. His point tonight is to break down, beat down Seth Rollins. It starts with Vinci tonight. And then next week, it will be Luffy Kaiser going one on one with Seth Rollins. And then it will be Gunther at Survivor Series. That's the plan between Rollins and Imperium. And then Vinci's eyes. Big scoop slam there onto Rollins by Vinci. Could it be enough to derail the momentum of Seth Rollins, who has one of the biggest momentums right now, honestly. He's on a he has a big momentum train, if you will. Rollins has not been defeated in months. Whether it's matches on Raw or matches at a premium live event, Rollins has, has yet to lose. Ever since he became the number one contender for the WWE title at the Raw at the Raw after WrestleMania this year, Rollins has been untouchable. Standing moonsault by the champion and now Rollins taking crossbody, but no. And now look at Vinci up the top rope. Rollins failed where Vinci succeeded. Connecting the crossbody on the outside. And now Vinci down the power of Bob out of the floor. But the champion got up. And right for Vinci to set him into the steps. Holy. Oh. Obviously, Giovanni Vinci got something to prove here. We'd love to get a big upset win over the WWE champion. Who's again been on the wave of momentum for months. Could you imagine? Vinci being the one to defeat Rollins tonight. 
What would that do to the psyche of the WWE Champion? How can he go into a match with Gunther, who's been undefeated all year? How can Rollins have all the confidence in the world after this? And now Rollins trying to go for a drop kick. That time Vinci blocked and backstepped. But then Rollins trying to recover. Form in the face. And again. Sling blade. Rollins at the after the sling blade. High rank district. Vinci far away. Connects with the front splash. Will it be enough? He wants the defeated Jayus on his way. And no, not enough to get the three. Vinci got more resilience. Oh. More resiliency than I thought. He able to kick out of that frog splash. And now Rollins, after knocking him onto the outside, Rollins sticking over the top, but Vinci able to duck. And now Rollins, oh. planning him face first. No doubt Rollins are going to send a message he said moments ago before the match. He wants to see if Giovanni Vinci can bring Rollins to his limit. Like Gunther happened to be with Nathan Frazier. Oh. The Seth Rollins now just working on Vinci. Wearing him down. Thinking it's time, perhaps. Rollins in position. Kick to the midsection. He's gonna go for the stop. Rollins, no! Vinci counter with a counter! Vinci been watching the tapes, able to find a counter. And it was Vinci with a bear hug. A bear hug on the Rollins. And, oh! Elbow, and again. Oh, and Rollins. Double clap and a knee right to the face. Rollins up top after the knee. Drops the elbow. Is that enough? Elbow to the heart of Vinci. Hook of the leg. Rollins gets the win. Holy. Here is your winner. You gotta give Rollins credit. He was able to find a way to get the win without using the stomp. After Vinci was able to counter. No doubt Gunther was watching that one here tonight. No, wait a minute. We see Nathan Frazier watching on backstage. Nathan Frazier watching on his mentor. The man who trained him, Seth Rollins. Frazier feels that after that match with Gunther, it feels like he's just getting started here on Raw. There's Axiom. Axiom welcoming Nathan Frazier to Raw. Nice gesture. Nathan Frazier wants to make a name for himself. Axiom claiming that he saw his match with Gunther last week, and he thought. It would be great if he went at it with Nathan Fraser. Issuing a challenge for next week. Nathan Fraser accepts the challenge. One on one between these two. What an interesting dynamic. Fraser and Axiom next week. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. One cage, two rings. The next premium live event presents WWE 2K23's Survivor Series will enter. On the next episode of Raw, you do not want to miss Alexa Bliss, a big task in front of her as she goes one-on-one -on -one with the former champion, the return of the EST, Bianca Belair. Also, the next episode of Raw, you're not going to want to miss Luffy Kaiser going one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins. It's Kaiser's turn to get a crack at the WWE Champion. Vinci couldn't get the job done tonight, 
can Kaiser get the job done next week? We have to find out on Raw next episode. Also, after issuing a challenge to Nathan Frazier backstage moments ago before the break, it is official. Axiom, Nathan Frazier, one-on-one -on, -one on the next episode of Raw. You do not want to miss that one, but coming up next, it's our main event. Becky Lynch going one-on-one -on -one with Tiffany Stratton. Stratton going to make a name for herself at the expense of the man. Well, tonight, Tiffany Stratton, welcome to the big time. Live in East Rutherford, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Man of a Time on Thursday, Raw Thursday, as here comes the man, Becky Lynch, a huge task in front of Tiffany Stratton. It's scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch was challenged by Tiffany Stratton last week on Raw. Stratton feels that she's she's done playing second fiddle, that she wants the top competition, and she went straight for, honestly, one of the top superstars here on Raw in Becky Lynch. A decorated superstar, a woman who's been winning championship since she debuted back in 2K16, and ever since then, Becky Lynch has been on a massive Raw. But now this year, Becky Lynch, here tonight on Thursday, Raw Thursday, one-on-one -on -one with Stratton. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As Daddy's Little Rich Girl has arrived in East Rutherford, New Jersey. And from Pryor Lake, Minnesota, yeah. Tiffany Stratton. The former WWE Women's Champion is Tiffany Stratton. She tried to luck at Money in the Bank against Bianca Belair, but sadly couldn't get the job done. And now, no doubt about it, after accepting Trish's offer of joining Team Trish at War Games, no doubt about it, Tiffany Stratton would love to get a win over Becky Lynch to cement her spot, but also maybe earn her way to another title shot down the line. But tonight, it's about Tiffany getting or making a name for herself at the expense of the man. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Very competitive is what I would say between these two. Here we go, the bell's rung. And right at the gate, strikes being delivered there by Stratton. On to Becky Lynch, center off the ropes, ducks under, and now oh, trying to connect, but no. Able to counter, oh, and the back suplex there by the man. Becky was able to take a back step and able to counter, and now Tiffany got her up on her shoulder, maybe thinking inverted, no, got her, inverted DDT by Becky Lynch. I don't know, I wonder what Becky Lynch or how Becky Lynch felt when she was challenged by Tiffany Stratton. Whether she had a little respect for Tiffany as she got her in a submission hold here. Hyper extended the arm there, but no. Stratton able to roll through. Big kick to the gut. And now, what's this? The suplex roll through. Look at it, into a disarmor by Tiffany Stratton. Disarmor there, but no. Lynch obviously knows how to counter her own move. Iris swept up the ropes and got her with a, with a, I don't know, a power slam or a hip toss. I don't know what you want to call that, but either way, affected there by Becky. And then Tiffany able to recover with that drop to hold, but Becky able to re return the favor. And a paintbrush, a slap in the face, and a Becky Lynch oh, with the back exploder. I gotta ask the question. What do you think, or how do you think Becky Lynch felt when she got challenged by Tiffany Stratton? And then that slap might, might see, might see it all. Becky maybe may feel that, may respect Tiffany for the challenge, but at the same time, maybe feels that Tiffany may not be ready. May not be ready for the big time. 
Elbow right to the midsection. Again, Tiffany only been in universe small for months. Well, like I said, Becky Lynch in 2K16. Her first championship was the Divas title, and ever since then, has been winning gold nonstop. And tonight, we're going to show why she's been a multiple-time champion. Disarmor locked in on the Tiffany Stratton, but unable to get the win so far. And again, Stratton able to check Becky Lynch. Shoulder check. Hook and a lag. Kick at one. And now, Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton again, setting her up. Disarmor locked in. Got her in, and again away from the ropes too. But again, Lynch gets out of the hold. Trying to go low, but got caught. And on the man, got her on the ropes. And now they're going to use the ropes. Hang her out to dry as well. Using the ropes to her advantage. And now sends off the ropes. Ducks it. Over. Becky Lynch. Countered again. That swinging side slime, if you will. Able to take out Stratton. Kicked in the midsection. Thinking butterfly. Yes. Butterfly suplex. And on the man up top. And oh god almighty with a leg drop. A big leg drop by the big time player. And a kick at a two. Becky was not kidding about big time. That was a big time leg drop. And now look at this. Pump handle into a followaway slam. But look at Shred able to recover. Gunner was lining and waiting for a pity predicament. But Becky able to kick it too. And now look at that. Corner into a German suplex as well. Holy Ote, these guys, these two superstars are evenly matched here. This is the first time that they meet in the ring. Kick to the midsection. Thinking power bomb. Yes! Maybe thinking for the prettiest moonsault ever, but got taken down by Lynch. STF applied. Got it with that step over cross face. The STF locked in. But again, Stratton not wanting to say, say die, not wanting to give up. Was able to continue fighting, especially through that excruciating hold, the STF. And now, sends her off the ropes as Lynch ducks under again. Goes over, and oh, trying to go for a kick! And that time, Stratton countered! Able to dodge the kick, got with that clothesline. And Stratton had something in mind. They're going to send Becky into the corner. And now what's this? Stratton. Thinking corkscrew, splash onto Lynch, is it enough? Becky kicks out. Holy cow. The crowd is electric for this one. Shot to the face. And another look at Stratton, look at, oh! Used the middle up to her advantage on the Becky. And now up top, is Stratton thinking about flying here? Could it? Oh, the drop kick! I was going to say, could it connect? And it did. But now it's on Stratton to capitalize. As, oh. Tiffany Stratton feels that she's on the verge of getting the biggest win of her career here on Raw. But she's too busy taunting. She needs to get Becky back in the ring. <laughs> Becky's the type of competitor that will catch you slipping momentarily and will be able to get the win. Yeah. Tiffany's got to be on her P's and Q's in this one. Count of seven. Becky back up to her feet. Shred feels that she took out the trash there. There's Becky back in the ring. Got her caught. Got caught. Got caught. Did Tiffany. Got caught with a disarmor. But again, Shred able to learn from Becky's counters in the past. Oh, and the clothesline. Oh, McConnell with a kick. And now it's Shred up top. Shred thinking. Prettiest moonsault. Could it be 
enough! Peck each other up the way, and she got her! Wow! Biggest win of her career! Here's your winner, Tiffany Stratton! Tiffany Stratton just scored a massive upset over Becky Lynch, and no doubt, she's ready for war games. We're out of time, get on everybody! Tiffany on top!